Unity is my favorite game engine. Now, I might be biased because it's the only one that I've used as extensively as I have, but when you compare it to programs like Unreal or Godot, it's easy to see that at least it's the most feature-rich engine on the market. I mean, just look at what came out in the release of 2019.3 alone. We got new tools for artists and designers, impressive graphical improvements, and my favorite, an update to the data-oriented tech stack, or DOTS for short. But with all those sweeping changes and improvement, there's bound to be some features that get left behind, which is why we're so fortunate to have a marketplace like the Unity Asset Store, because it empowers developers to create and share their own custom assets that help fill in all of the gaps. And in this video, we'll be taking a look at just one of those assets a little bit closer. But first, my name is Charles, and this is Infallible Code, a channel designed to help you become a better game developer. If you'd like to learn more about Unity, programming, and game development, be sure to subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell icon. This video is part of a productivity asset series where each month I share one Unity asset that'll help improve your productivity. This month, we're looking at a complete inspector rewrite with an asset called Power Inspector. Power Inspector is a plug-and-play asset that boasts over a hundred improvements to Unity's built-in inspector right out of the box. Its feature list includes a robust search, enhanced keyboard navigation, debug mode plus, improved tooltips, and many more that, honestly, I couldn't possibly fit into one video. So instead, we're going to walk through a simple scenario that will help highlight some of my favorites. The first thing we need to do is actually install Power Inspector. So we'll go ahead and find it in the Asset Store and import it. Then click on Window, expand Power Inspector, and select New Window. And we can dock it right next to Unity's Inspector. Beautiful. So right off the bat, you'll notice a couple of differences between Unity and Power Inspector in the form of this small header bar that has an Options dropdown, a search field, and some icons. Focusing on the search field, we can see that it has quite a few different options. These options allow us to filter a game object's components on a more granular level, because that's how it works, not as a search, but as a filter. For example, if we wanted to inspect just the box collider, we could type box collider into the field. But it doesn't just filter components, it can also filter on labels and values. So if we wanted to find any instance of the word probe within this game object, we could type that in and we'll see the results. Now, only the labels are highlighted, but it's actually filtering on the values as well. If we wanted to do that explicitly, however, we could either select values from the search options dropdown or prepend the search with V colon. And the same applies to labels, which we can search using L colon. Other than that, the search field has a few other features, such as the ability to search in the scene and inspect actual classes. But I would encourage you to check that out in the documentation and play around with those on your own. Because right now, we need to add a script to our player object. Now, in case we didn't know whether or not a player script had already been created, we can perform a class search to quickly find out. And sure enough, there doesn't seem to be a player class in the project. So why don't we create one now using another great feature in Power Inspector called the Create Script Wizard, which we can kick off using the same Unity workflow that we're already used to. First, we'll select the player game object in the scene, then click Add Component and type in Player. Of course, we don't get the results we're looking for, so we can go ahead and click on the plus icon, which brings up a fancy new editor window that contains everything we need to create our class. Now, traditionally, we'd use template files to control how scripts are generated. But with the Create Script wizard, we can control how each class file is generated at runtime using options such as namespace, save path, using statements, and functions. So let's go ahead and set some of these options and click Create and Add. Now that our script is created, we can see another cool feature in Power Inspector called the script drawer. And let me tell you, the line numbering and syntax highlighting alone is enough for me, but the script drawer even lets you edit your scripts line by line, which is a feature that I wouldn't necessarily rely on, but is nice to have for those moments when you need to make a small change to your mono behavior. And if you've got especially large class files, the script drawer's context menu lets you open files to specific line numbers as well. 
In fact, why don't we do that now and add some code that'll help show off the next feature. Here we've got a basic class with an in property and a couple of methods to help represent and manipulate the player's health. If you're familiar with Unity, you'll already know that this won't look like much when we switch back to the editor, because Unity doesn't display properties like this in the inspector. Luckily for us, we're using Power Inspector, which means that we can click on this bug icon to enable Debug Mode Plus, and not only see our health property, but also see and invoke our two public methods. Talk about a quality of life improvement. You'd be surprised at how much being able to invoke methods like this can speed up your entire workflow. Speaking of which, we can actually take this one step further. Let's open up our player class and add two editor-only tester functions, both of which we'll mark with the context menu attribute. Now we can switch back to Unity, click on the play button icon, and voila, our tester methods are easily accessible. Pretty nice, right? Like I said in the beginning, Power Inspector is packed with a bunch of amazing features that I just can't fit into one video. Thankfully, the creator has graced us with some really good documentation that you can use to familiarize yourself before you make a purchase. I recommend looking through section 10 to learn how you can extend Power Inspector to fit your needs. Power Inspector is a great Unity asset that has some key features that'll definitely improve your productivity. If you're thinking about picking it up and would like to support this channel, please consider using my affiliate link, which you can find in the description of this video. And if you'd like to discuss it or anything else related to Unity, programming, and game development, then feel free to join our growing community of game developers on Discord. Lastly, you know the drill. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. And as always, I'll catch you in the next video. Special shout out to my top supporters, Breakfast 3 d Dark Rush Photography, R-Star, Thomas, and Trond.